Here we go again with the Trademo Show with Matthias and Sebastian. Hello again. Happy Freaky Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday to you, Matthias. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Even my trading results are recently not so good, so yeah, I have to live it. What, it's what part of the game. I, I have the biggest order of my life, so it's hmm. 23% currently. Okay. Hopefully it stopped right now, not sure, so we will see. And what would, you, what would you say is the reason why you've had this drawdown? And what is a drawdown if I'm a complete beginner and I don't understand this word? A uh, drawdown is actually that you lose a lot of trades in a row and you have some winners, but the entire time you, you lose more money than you win. And if you calculate that by the highest account balance, then it comes to an end and maybe it's 23% uh, lower than the highest uh, account balance in the, in the past. So this is what I have right now. So for example, let's say I have $100,000 on my trading account and yes, then and it goes down to 80,000, then this is a 20% drawdown. Yes, yeah? yes exactly. In, in between, it could have gone first to 90, then to 95, then to yes. 85, and then to 80. Yes. But the overall difference from the highest to the lowest is 20%, and that's the drawdown. That's the drawdown. Okay, yeah. okay. And how do you deal with this uh, psychologically? Oh, I, I feel pretty good. So maybe it's part of my experience uh, mm -hmm. uh, in trading in poker and a lot of money management and risk money management. I know this is part of the game and so I feel comfortable with it. And yeah, hopefully it ends soon, but we will see. Maybe it's 30%, but uh, yeah. I never give up. So it, it's fun. It makes really fun and I'm excited about this. No problem for me. Yeah, this is really something I admire. I mean, for me, when I lose money psychologically, it's still not it's it's not nice, and I can see that sometimes it then makes my next trade worse than the previous one. And you, you have more more trust in in each trade that you make, yeah. and you just stick to your strategy. And um, that's something I really want to learn from you how to do that even better. And I think I it's really uh, just uh, I think it's really really cool for everyone to see this in the show and learn from you as well. Yeah. Now I think a lot of beginners or advanced traders are not so comfortable with their loses and losses and they change pretty pretty much uh, on, on their strategies and this is not the, the, the target to, to make profits. Sometimes you have to go through, you have to push through and you know your strategy is good. And yeah, this yeah. is the way I do it. Yeah, I find it fantastic. And I will uh, take a slice from that and incorporate <laughs> it into my own trading. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, but let's take a look at today's headlines. So the cryptocurrency market alive and well in China and Japan yeah, um, so and editors breakout coming um, potentially. So yeah. let's look at these things. Let's first take a look at the Bitcoin price here and what has been driving it. So we, we have seen a nice recovery back to $4,210 right now mm -hmm. um, from the lowest point, 3000 We spoke more about this yesterday with Rudolf in the show, but um, today's headline has been driving up the price basically another five percent and that is that in china people seem to continue using cryptocurrencies even mm. though the government had cracked down on it and that shows yeah, yeah it's, it's for me i was worried about bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general because suddenly the government seemed to be able to control it and that was one of the fundamental problems uh, or one of the fundamental promises that bitcoin mm -hmm. would be untouchable and now, now it seems like it really is. So that gives it's me a strong confidence. sign that nobody cares about the government and yeah, yeah. Bitcoin goes up again. It's yeah. a very strong sign. Yeah. And the same for, for Japan. So all around, we have good news uh, from the cryptocurrency front. Mm -hmm. So in Japan, uh, in Japan um, 11 more. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't remember, maybe. Yeah, you yeah 11. It was yeah. 11. 11 exchanges got accredited by the government. And so that is really a strong sign when a government says, hey, yeah, this this is a good thing. We accredit this. We believe in it as well. Yeah. 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 Cool. 
Um, and then it's not, yeah. a, it's not a small economy. Uh, Japan is, I think, the the fifth biggest economy on earth. Yeah, and and, and it's thirty percent of all of the foreign currency exchange trading. So if they go big into crypto, it's yeah. big. It's a huge difference if Benga. Uh, what, what is a small country? Bangladesh. Say, Bangladesh, for example, or, or maybe Slovakia. Mm -hmm. If they say go for it, that's not so good. <laughs> well, it's, it's still good, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a big step when a con when a kind of a conservative large economy like Japan does it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, then, um, yeah, the the other topic we had for today was your favorite. Yeah, my favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Editors. Editors, um, I mentioned it a couple of shows ago, is one of those three main companies in the human genetics uh, segment, basically, of the economy or of, mm -hmm. the, of the pharma segment. And um, yeah, what has happened here? Let's take a look at the chart. So when that we, we had a big news coming out two days ago that um, Editas got an got got some permission from the European health agencies um, that um, yeah that basically it could proceed with some of the some of the developments that it had made and obtain licenses for it and that would bring in a lot of licensing revenue because they already have some agreements with large pharmaceutical companies around this topic and so it would boost their revenues in the long run and it's a strong sign for this company and I was completely you can see here some trades that I made on our demo account here a um, lot of uh, little triangles there so <laughs> yeah, yeah each of these is a trade and I was a bit confused here on the day um, where the big news came out that it just went down so much it first started with eight percent up and then it closed at four percent down and then yesterday I finally got rewarded um, with the market agreeing also with me <laughs> uh, and it moving <laughs> <Finally>. up <laughs> yeah, it moved up 15% yesterday it was uh, almost 20% and then uh, finished at 15% plus yesterday and today yeah pre market we can see that it's going up a little and um, I'm really curious if we will see the breakout here. It yeah. could test again these highs over here that we saw here in the 27 area. That will be a strong resistance, I assume, but it's certainly worth a test, I think. And if it goes there, um, these, I mean, that is basically 20% what we, what we, mm -hmm. what that would mean in yeah. for this stock. So I mean, it's other other stocks they don't move that much in the whole year and people feel amazing when they take their 5% from it. And here, you really have the chance for 20%. Of course, you also have a big risk when this company uh, loses some patent or something like that, then it also moves down like that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, at the moment, everything it's looks, looks strong for this. Yeah, there, there's more potential to the upside than the downside at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I absolutely agree. So maybe we can add this to our trading mode trading account. I will discuss this later with Matthias K. Great. Yeah, I'd I'd be interested in seeing that. Um, it's also something that you can uh, offer to short sellers and just take a and, and get get some solid uh, interest payments on it in addition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then we have. We, uh, we just want to take a look at some of the things that we had mentioned recently. So here is um, the gold price. Gold seems to have stabilized here. Um, mm -hmm. A strong support at 1,280. Uh, yeah, I know that yeah. you uh, have a gold uh, investment, Matthias. Yeah, still struggling with the 1,300 uh, yeah. level. So mm -hmm. I would prefer to see it uh, above 300, uh, 1,300 before the weekend starts, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's see uh, what happens this afternoon. Could push my weekend, but um, end my account, of course. <laughs> yeah, well, in this in this time where we see crazy things going on between, uh, uh, you were gone for a little while, Matthias. Um, so it's um, let me just uh, finish the the thought here. Um, yeah, basically, I th I think before the weekend now that there's always crazy things going on between Trump and Kim Jong Kim Jong Il um Un. Uh, Kim Jong Un ah, not the father <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, yeah um yeah it it 
yeah, it, it might be good to to buy gold on Fridays just <laughs> as a precautionary measure. Yeah, it, it's a kind of a hedge for the weekend. So if something goes pretty crazy over the weekend, mm -hmm. then of course gold will profit from them. Yeah. Okay, and then we wanted to close today's show with uh, closing a part of one of our positions. Yes. I have opened dollar yen here. We have a really nice profit of, I believe at the moment, around $4,000 here um, from, uh, we sold it up here at, at uh, uh, we, we bought it, it at 111.5 yeah. and now we are at 112.3. Mm -hmm. So basically we are 80 pips up but at the moment it looks like this is going it, to go down a little bit yeah. and so we want it to looks secure like a we, yeah. we have a, a reversal pattern there it's yeah. a so-called a dark cloud cover or bearish angle thing I, I don't see right now but uh, something like that a nice candlestick reversal yeah. pattern for short positions and this is the reason why we should close at least a part of the position yeah so the two courses that you want to look at at Tradimo to learn more about this is the technical analysis course and the money management course. So what we are doing here is we are taking this reversal pattern as a sign and are subsequently now doing a scaling out. So we are here I have 500,000 because we have invested 1 million dollars in dollar yen. We are taking 500,000 and selling them. So I will push the sell button now and this is basically how we secure half of our profit. And we are still long for half a million. Bam. Now here you can see it. Trade confirmed. This is how fast half a million dollars <laughs> go in and out <laughs> in the market. <laughs> yeah, I mean for everyone that has not been trading but has been watching this show, it's really it's it's incredible how much is actually being transacted here. Uh, when at any given moment there's there's basically billions of dollars being exchanged in the foreign currency markets. It's the biggest market on earth. Yeah. Every year it's trillions. It's really trillions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, this is cool. how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's uh, yeah. let's sure call it a day for today <laughs> with this beautiful song. And um, we'll see you on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Yeah. Have a nice weekend. Bye, guys. Bye.